Hello, friends. The Wi-Fi 6 routers have been on the market for a while. It's much faster than the old Wi-Fi standard. The signal is stronger as well. Besides, lots of phones support Wi-Fi 6 now. If you are going to buy a new phone, it's time to upgrade to Wi-Fi 6. Today, I got two devices, AX1800 and AX3 Pro, from two different popular manufacturers. Both of them are affordable. I like the shape of AX1800. It doesn't take much of table space. It also looks nice. But the AX3 Pro is affordable. I can easily put it in the bag and take it anywhere. So it's a little difficult to tell which one is better. Let's do a comparison. See which one has better performance. You know, I can't do a very professional test. I'm not a scientist. In this video, I'm just showing you my experience. It definitely helps a little bit, right? I will not use the Wi-Fi speed test app to do the job. It's not accurate at all, because the speed test servers are on the internet. We don't want the internet speed to influence our test. I will start a speed test server in the local network with the iPerf3 service to make sure the internet speed doesn't affect our test. iPerf3 is a useful tool. It starts a local server on the router port at 1000 megabits per second. We need to connect a client to the Wi-Fi network, start iPerf3 client to see how much data we can get from the server. I'm testing with iPhone 12 and connect to the 5G Wi-Fi network to do the test. iPhone 12 is the latest iPhone, it definitely supports Wi-Fi 6. We first connect to the AX1800 to do the test. Open the iPerf3 client. Let's see... It's over 500 megabits per second. Well, that is pretty decent. <laughs> you know, the Ethernet port speed usually is 1000 megabit per second nowadays. The Wi-Fi 6 network speed can even reach to half of it. That is awesome! But we cannot just stay so close to the router and say it's good. I need to go to the other room to see how it goes. Okay, we can see the Wi-Fi signal is weaker now. Let's check the data transfer speed again. And the speed is lower at 250 megabits per second. I think that is totally acceptable. The speed is still high enough for people from the other room to watch online videos. Just make sure you have enough internet bandwidth. Talking about the 2.4 GHz network, its signal is better than the 5G Wi-Fi network from the other side of the wall. But the speed is lower than 5G, at only 50 megabits per second. So 5G Wi-Fi network is still better. Okay, that is the signal strength and the Wi-Fi speed of AX1800. In an AX1800 is a low-end router. It only supports 80 MHz radio frequency. Now let's see the AX3 Pro. AX3 Pro supports 160 MHz frequency, which means it has doubled the channel range for transferring data. Let's see if it's faster. I have connected the iPerf3 server on the LAN port. Connect iPhone to the Wi-Fi, start iPerf3 client on iPhone, and we see the speed is 500-600 megabits per second. Oh, it's really faster, but uh, not very stable. Now I'm going to the other room. The Wi-Fi strings is weaker as well, similar to AX1800. Do a speed test again, it's uh, around 300 megabits per second. Really not bad, a little faster than AX1800. AX3 Pro supports 160 megahertz frequency, no wonder the speed is faster. But iPhone doesn't support it. iPhone only supports 80 MHz. So I don't think what we tested is the top speed of the AX3 Pro. I need to test with a laptop which supports 160 MHz frequency. 
The laptop is equipped with the Intel 201 Wi-Fi adapter. It supports 160 MHz frequency. Let's do the test again, see what is the top speed of the AX3 Pro. Okay, with the 160 MHz client, we see it can be as high as 800, 900 Mbps. per second. That is amazing speed. You know, if you connect the laptop with an Ethernet cable, the top speed may be as fast as 800, 900 megabits per second. Now the Wi-Fi speed can be the same, or even higher. So AX3 Pro is really a good option if you have Wi-Fi 6 laptops. The only problem of this device I see is overheat. If you trust this brand, if you don't mind about the overheat problem, AX3 Pro is really a good selection. But as I mentioned, AX3 Pro overheats. The temperature is higher than AX1800. If you put it under the air conditioner, it should be fine. If your room is very hot, then this device may smoke out. But it works well for me. Maybe because it's winter now, the temperature is not too high. Okay, that is all for this test. Actually, we are not reaching the top speed at all. In theory, the top speed of the 5G Wi-Fi or X1800 should be 1200 megabits per second. In the test, we only get 500, 600. That is because in real life, it's not possible that the router connects to iPhone with all antennas at 80 GHz wide frequency. From the test, we see both devices have amplifiers, support MIMO, signal strings are almost the same, and both are cheap. All the difference is that AX1800 is not as fast as AX3 Pro because it doesn't support 160 MHz frequency, but AX3 Pro is not as stable as AX1800 because its 28 nanometer processor overheats. If you need 160 MHz frequency and uh, you can't tolerate with the overheat problem, then maybe you should pay more money to buy the AX3600. AX3600 is more powerful, it can serve much more clients. With more amplifiers, it even has better signal strings. Another thing I need to mention is that neither of the two devices are supported by third-party firmware such as OpenWRT, which is a big problem for me but I'm not sure if AX1800 will be supported in the future. They just need time to develop for the device. For AX3 Pro, I don't think there will be OpenWRT for it in the future, since its processor is developed by the manufacturer itself. It's just not compatible. So if you don't trust the stock firmware or the two devices, please don't buy them yet. Okay, this is the end of the video. Now you can decide which one to buy. If you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and uh, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time, bye bye!